right, y'all. We got some product shots in. We're going to take a few more, but we got to swing into Hobby Lobby and get some candles because we're celebrating an anniversary. But I'm not going to tell you what anniversary we're celebrating just yet. You're going to have to stay tuned. Kara's leading the way. That could be dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're about to record some more lifestyle shots out in the woods. Not really the woods, but out in some greenery here. What, what outfit are you going to wear? To put on this gray hoodie here. All right, y'all. So here we are. We just got some product shots taken. We're outside of Whole Foods right now. We're gonna go in. We don't normally. I shop at Whole Foods some because it's convenient. But where do you normally shop? Sprouts is probably the majority of Sprouts. where I shop. And Costco. I don't have a Sprouts. I wish I had a Sprouts. Yeah. But there's a whole bunch of grocery haul videos on YouTube from every different diet influencer out there. We're gonna make this one a little bit different. We're gonna go in. You don't have to shop at Whole Foods. You don't have to shop at the high end places. And we're gonna you can go. steal the food. Yeah, we're going to steal the food. <laughs> That's how we're going to make it different. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a cop chase here in a minute. Um, but we want to show you, like, if we were stranded on a desert island, what are the five things each of us would get to bring with us? They probably don't have whole foods on desert islands, but you get the point. So, like, we just want to simplify everything. Get, like, to the meat of the matter and just go back to basics. Like, forget all the frou-frou extravagant stuff. If there's five things that you could get from any grocery store, whatever it is, what would they be? We're gonna do his version, my version. Let's go. Got the sheriff and the guarded truck. We're actually gonna rob the guarded truck and outrun the sheriff. You talk all about the affordability on carnivore. <laughs> this is how it's done. Montage here. Okay. First item for William. Here we go. So first item for me, basically the staple of my diet, about 80% of my diet. And we were talking about like when you bring it all the way down to basics. The thing is, most of the things that people are trying to supplement, if you have like five of the right foods, you don't even need half the supplement. So, let's see what we can do here. Now we're talking, now we're talking. What we got here, man? So, look at this, $4.99 right here. You got 85% lean, 15% fat, pasture-raised ground beef. So, I a lot of my meals are a huge plate of ground beef. You could turn them into burger patties, you can do meatloaf, you can mix cheese in there. You can scramble it with eggs, I've done that many times. You could top it with Primal Kitchen's ketchup, not sponsored. You could top it with the steak sauce, whatever you want to do. But you can't bring any of those to Desert Island, so it doesn't count. Okay, so that's true. So if we're just eating this, salt it up real good. Salt it up real good. Boom. All right, so I'm similar to William in that I would also go with the red meats. However, I'm not gonna get the 85-15 because I like a little higher fat ratio. I'm gonna go for the fattiest cut of ribeye I can because a good fatty ribeye is about a one-to-one -one ratio of protein to fat. So it's gonna make getting that fat ratio a little bit easier. Plus, given the option of ribeye or ground beef, I'm gonna go for the steak. All right, what we got here, man? So to balance out some of the other micronutrients and some of the omega-3s, I would definitely get some of these wild-caught salmon fillets. I think wild-caught is really important, especially if you can do it Alaskan. Um, if whoever stranded me would get me some <laughs> some wild caught Alaskan, that would be perfect. Or I could just fish for them myself. But that would be number two for me, grabbing some salmon. I like it. All right, so I'm probably gonna go with some kind of canned fish next because I, I like the idea of getting a, a fish, kind of balance out the omegas, but I like the simplicity of a canned item. This is an olive oil, so it kind of helps get my monounsaturated fats in there. So I'd get like something like this or like um, a cod liver. I don't want to get something super lean like tuna, but like a mackerel, or they've even got smoked oysters. So something like this would be my second choice. All right, what we got, what we got? All right, my third one, I'm gonna pick up some beef liver. Beef so liver. if you really want nutrients when you're on this island, I'm sure you do. So you got 100% grass-fed beef liver. Um, this is something that I eat multiple times a week just to make sure I'm getting in a full nutrient spectrum. On a carnivore style of dieting, which is what I do, it really helps you get those nutrients that you don't always get from ground beef or from steaks, things like that. So I definitely get this to round it out. I like it. All right, my third option, we got good old whole eggs here. And ideally, not all eggs are created equal. You wanna get one that comes from a reputable source. If there was chickens on that island, I'd be eating their eggs because you wanna try and get one that's free range and all that fancy stuff because the nutrient profile of the egg itself is gonna be better 
than one that's just like, you know, prepared and laid in a big feed range lot with a whole bunch of the chickens. So try and get a good quality egg. But this is the one I normally get out fresco. I've had good luck with them. Or if you raise your own chickens, you got that taken care of, but can't go wrong with a good egg. Okay, you need a water source, obviously, but you want a water source that's also gonna have a little bit of electrolytes in it. Um, so I actually love these. I drink these pretty often. This is sparkling water from Mountain Valley. But if you look at the back here, you've got some calcium in there, some magnesium in there, and some potassium. And if you look at it, it's not insignificant. It's actually a good amount in there. So you'll get taken care of on the electrolyte front. But I think electrolytes are crucial enough that that is going to be my last one. You guys will see that in a second. All right. So obviously water is going to be very important. I would get water as well. This water right here will not spike your insulin that much. It's been individually batch tested to not really raise insulin or blood glucose. So Have you batch tested it? I haven't batch tested it. That's what the label says. And water and hydration, H2O is key. So this would be my next pick for the island. Okay, so last one for me, I would definitely be getting salt. I personally tend to go with Redmond's Real Salt. Um, it's important to me that it's got some iodine in it, that it's got you know a good spectrum of all these different trace minerals. You could see the color in that. So I think any high quality Himalayan pink salt or a Celtic sea salt is great. Um, they've got the Celtic sea salt right here. So that's another really good option. But for me, salt is the last one because on a keto diet, on a carnivorous diet, on any low carb diet, you're gonna need a way of bringing in those electrolytes and holding on to them. And salt is kind of the buffer, it's kind of the barrier that holds those in. Makes you feel strong, um, helps out with workouts. I guess I'll be working out on this island, so that would be my last one, salt. All right, y'all, so I would obviously choose salt too for the exact same reason that William said. However, I don't wanna copy him and pick the exact same thing he said. But you know what else has some salt in it? A keto brick happens to have the perfect ratio of sodium to potassium. It's got the great fat ratio. You're going to get all the benefits from everything that's in the keto brick. So I'm going to get my electrolytes from the keto brick and make that my fifth option. Maybe a little biased, but hey, if you're trapped on a desert island and if you've got ribeyes and grass-fed liver, you probably got keto bricks too. All right, y'all, we're back from the grocery store. We actually just got done recording a super good podcast, part two of a two-part series. That's going to go live on video and audio format uh, next week, probably. We're about to go crush a workout. We're going to go to chest and delts, and it's going to be a good day. Yeah, it is. We're we going to make this thumbnail picture up, man. There's like so much thing that's happened. We've, we've gone to the grocery store. We've worked out. We're about to work out. We're going to get steaks tonight. So okay. many options for what we can make this thumbnail. That's true. We'll, we'll think of something. Something, something epic. Something yeah. epic. You have one shot on stage, but you got to play Generic drops for days, still the people rage Am I not insane? Can you stop and explain? Why these drops are so lame? Is money buying you fame? Get on, I'm killing it with this song You haters can sing along or go back where you belong Yeah, there's nothing wrong with giving up, moving on Cause I took your girl to prom, she can't help but sing this song Till the roof comes off, till the lights go out Till my legs give out, can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out, and my heart I'ma rip it till my bones collapse Till the roof comes off, till the lights go out Till my legs give out, can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out, and my heart progress I'ma rip this till my bones collapse uh. Ow, Yeah, I got it in me I've been waiting quite a long time for y'all to 
hear me It's oh. about damn time you put some stock into me You're either sponsoring, bothering me And the fact is, we just practice on this madness That is why our status is like a canvas Chances, our advancement is enhancing And this new expansion's like a mansion Comes up till the lights go out Till my legs give out Can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out And my high progress I'm a rip till my bones collapse Till the roof comes off Till the lights go out Till my legs give out Can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out And my high progress I'm a rip vision Till my bones collapse uh. Chest and delt workout in the books. How you feeling? Good, man. Every workout is intense and I love it. We're super sweaty. Yeah. It's been a good workout. If you could pick one exercise to do in a desert island, what would it be? <laughs> I love a uh, why one exercise on a desert island. But if I could pick one, I would go with a clean and press because I think it incorporates uh, the deadlift. It's obviously got the clean portion. Uh, you have a pressing motion, which will maybe hit some chest and arms and stuff. So that's my go-to, clean and press. I think my go-to is going to be deadlift, mm. simply because I feel like I'd be injured doing clean and press. And if I got injured yeah. on a desert <laughs> island, I'd be screwed. Yeah, you're not getting off of there. Yeah, yeah. Now it's time to go get a shower and go get some steaks. Gah. Yeah. Kira, yeah. what? You love your job? Most times. Most times. All you time. love your job? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the credit for designing this vlog's thumbnail? You get the credit? Yeah. That was your idea 100% all the way, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we got going on here? Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Yes, sir. The butcher's shop. Here we come. You hungry? Yeah. I'm starving. I, yeah. Well, I've had multiple bricks, so Always I'm doing good, steak, but I'm though. hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. All the little lights and stuff. Some Cajun shrimp right there. It looks pretty good. I just enjoy looking at it. Boom. 20 ounce prime rib. 20 ounce prime rib. It looks pretty good, man. I'm happy, man. I'm very happy. And then a sirloin. You happy? Super happy. All right, y'all, we just got done crashing these steaks. We had a big old 20 ounce prime rib and it was delicious. Crystal finished hers, William's about to finish his. And uh, it's been an awesome trip. He's been here most of this week. We got a lot done, a lot of content created. A lot of stuff's gonna be rolling out over the next several days, so stay tuned for that. Um, some great podcasts coming. One's gonna go live. I don't know when this video's gonna go live, but one's gonna, one of the podcasts is gonna go live tomorrow. Um, just awesome stuff, awesome having them out here. We hiked a mountain, we shot the bow, we worked out, we got work done, we talked business. It was just cool. It was really cool. I'm excited to do more of this going forward. Now, I'm going to let William finish it out because he's the man. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Robert and Crystal who are sitting right in front of me. Um, you guys watch them on YouTube, you guys meet them at conferences, but I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, they are some of the most genuine people you'll ever meet. Hardworking, willing to sacrifice, willing to do what it takes to give you guys the most value possible. And they're really doing this for all of you. So, having seen it up close and in person, um, I got a lot of love for these two people. I view them as family. And I just gotta say, I'll, I'll be back out here for sure soon. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Awesome.